scientific breakthroughs can begin in many different ways. Sir Isaac Newton began to formulate the laws of gravity while he was sitting under an apple tree in England. Benjamin Franklin proved his theory of electricity while flying a kite in a Philadelphia thunderstorm. Orville and Wilbur Wright, the Wright brothers, unlocked the mysteries of flight in a North Carolina field. And for nursing mothers, the breakthrough idea for a safe and effective modern breast pump began at a dinner party in Stockholm, Sweden. At that party, Einar Egno, a Swedish inventor and civil engineer, was having dinner with friends. One friend at the party was a renowned gynecologist from Stockholm who talked with Einar about the need for a breast pump that would allow his patients and other nursing mothers to reduce the incidence of mastitis. He said his patients suffered not only from mastitis, but also pain and sometimes injury from the mechanical breast pumps that were currently available. The physician knew that Einar Egnall was a talented inventor and that he had worked with engines and piston technology throughout his career. The physician knew, perhaps instinctively, that if a new breast pump technology could be discovered, Einar Egnall would be the one who could do it. As a young boy, Einar Egnall was intrigued by the steam engines that powered his father's brewery. Living on the family farm, Einar was constantly asking his father and mother how things worked and why things worked the way they did. It was inevitable that Einar would go to the university where he would earn a degree in engineering. He was from start interested in machinery. The brewery was driven by a steam engine and he used to stay in the, by the steam engine and in the workshop all the time for, because he wanted to learn everything about technical things. When Einar Egnall took up the challenge to create a breast pump, he was already 60 years old. He used a lifetime of experience and engineering expertise as he began to study the technical intricacies of the human breast, the physiology of nursing, and the science of breastfeeding. He had to experiment with the cylinder diameter and the piston movement and so on, so that he reached these figures. And when he was satisfied, he gave the breast pump to Sister Maya, who provided the mothers to, for testing. Sister Maya, also known as Nurse Maya, became crucial to the success of Einar Egnall's new pump. Sister Maya was a nurse in the gynecology department of Stockholm's newest hospital. He couldn't test the machine himself. So that's why he had to cooperate with somebody. And this Sister Maya was very cooperative, very interested, because she wanted to give her patients the best possible breast pump. Einar Egnall developed eight different versions of the pump before Sister Maya was satisfied that he had developed a breast pump that would work properly for her patients and for other new mothers. In recognition, Einar Egnall named his new pump the Sister Maya Breast Pump, eventually known simply as the SMB. And uh, as far as I know, nobody has come up with any better design during the last 50 years or more. In fact, in 1956, that the Swedish Medical Association published a groundbreaking article on breast pumps, written not by a prominent physician, but by a civil engineer, Einar Egnall. At an age when most of his peers had retired, Einar Egnall had embarked on a new career, providing quality breast pumps to nursing mothers throughout Europe and the world. I think, uh... For him, this was the lift in the life, do you understand me? Uh, he has made many, many good things, naturally, technical good things, and uh, but there are no comparison between what he had done and what he uh, should do after 60. That was his life. 
Einar Egnall had created the gold standard of breast pumps, a pump that closely mimicked the sucking rhythm and intensity of a nursing infant, caused no discomfort to the mother, and met the highest standards of hygiene. I have only good things to say about Mr. Egnall. He was a gentleman, a real gentleman. He was excellent observing what people need to serve mothers. That was the big interest. In 1970, at the age of 90, the gentleman engineer from Stockholm, Einar Egnall, ensured that his life's work, his service to new mothers, would continue when his company became Amida AG of Switzerland. Today, Amida products continue to utilize the fundamental groundbreaking technology of Einar Egnall. Amida products provide breastfeeding mothers with comfortable, safe, and effective methods of getting breast milk to their babies. The legacy of Einar Egnall is being carried forward once again as Amida continues to innovate with the introduction of new products and services for the next generation. For mothers and babies around the world, the Swedish inventor and civil engineer Einar Egnall has made a difference. His life and his work have created a lasting legacy, a legacy that continues through Amida products. <laughs>